when you make audio amplifiers, be it pre-amplifiers connected to a microphone or even in the past a uh, 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 magnetic uh, pickup element. You need an amplifier uh, that has to be completely free of hum. And I have made many videos about that in the past, but perhaps it's interesting to show now the whole ID. It's, it's an ID, though it is, say, uh, tested many times on its good properties. The whole ID again. And well, uh, here is the schematic and I have made it by purpose in such a way that you don't see here the input voltage, the output voltage, etc, etc. Important to tell is that uh, the input voltage can be between 12 volts and 50 volts, even 60 volts, because those transistors, the 2N3055 and the BD139 can handle it. Uh, the BD139 has the good property that it can endure, at least uh, when we are looking at the data sheet, maximum 80 volts on its base. Uh, correct me when I'm wrong. Um, it also is say, related to another electrode of that transistor, but anyway. Pen over somewhat first, and this is, say, more or less a uh, universal ID and like I told this circuit works even for extremely hum sensitive audio circuits sensitive pre amplifiers and end amplifiers also anyway the whole ID is that this uh, transistor and that transistor form a Darlington. The amplification factor of a normal BD139 uh, is 150. The amplification factor of the 2N3055 is say 40 or 70. Uh, that means that the capacitor here is in a certain way amplified, of course not really amplified, but uh, say the end capacitor that the electronic circuit sees here, say when you connect here an preamplifier, sensitive audio preamplifier, sensitive audio and amplifier, the capacitor that it sees is kind of endless, because these two transistors amplify the value uh, of the capacitor that's used here. And of course, very interesting, of course, uh, this Darlington needs a forward bias here. That forward bias is set by this resistor, and that resistor is very very critical it depends completely on the supply voltage between 12 volts and say 60 volts i now have indicated here 50 volts but anyway 60 volts also will work and um that's that's a critical value and here you see say the best values, experimental values, to be used in this hub suppressor circuit. For voltages around 12 volts, this resistor is 1 kilo ohm. 
use uh, 0 0.5 watt type anyway for 18 volts it's 2200 uh, ohms that's 2k2 for 24 volts it is 3k3 and when you go to higher voltages here at the input um, we are talking uh, uh, in the order of 4k7 up to 10k and uh, on 50 volts or um, 60 volts you surely need 10,000 ohms 10k for this value for this resistor here uh, it's a completely classical circuit I've published it many times on YouTube in all kinds of variations but it works very good it's a kind of uh, electrolytic capacitor multiplier circuit and when you go to Google you will surely uh, see uh, that ID capacitor multiplying circuit in an electronic way uh, but say when you want to make an audio amplifier these are say the first important things to tell use here a bridge rectifier use here a 4700 a microfarad capacitor as a smoothing capacitor this is the positive and uh, in both cases here this is to say the input capacitor to the uh, hum suppressor of course this 4700 microfarad capacitor uh, suppresses the ripple and the hum on the power supply very very substantially you can test that with your oscilloscope that is also related related to the current that the whole circuit takes on higher currents you will in general see a higher ripple voltage when you look at this capacitor but anyway on higher currents here you will not see any ripple any longer even when you take out here say a high current say in the order of 1 ampere 3 ampere 4 ampere etc of course all the capacitors here must be able to withstand the the voltage for which the whole circuit is made and this is say the first stage of such a circuit two transistors switched in uh, parallel on their primary and they are switched in series on their secondary by the way oh uh, this is the primary part of the transformers and this is the secondary part of the transformers they have to give out in this case approximately 40 volts and I will surely use this hum suppressor absolutely sure you can make it in all the ways that you like it as long as the say the transistor that has to do the job has a good enough um, cooling plate heat sink so here is the BD139 the driver of the Darlington here is the end transistor and test your transistors of course on their amplification factor I've tested this this transistor the BD sorry the 2 entry of R5 and the amplification factor was 70 test that always with your transistor tester and this is the say 
transistor tester that I use. There is somewhere a video on my YouTube channel, but you can of course also use another transistor tester that hasn't. Uh, that, so it's all what you like and what you want. Mind the phase issue when you want to use two transistors uh, when you switch them in their primaries going to the mains 110 volts, 230 volts, 50 hertz, 60 hertz uh, and especially on the secondary it is important to take out the double voltage and when the phase is not correct uh, you will say uh, harvest on the secondary of two transformers a zero voltage but when the phase is okay the voltage will be uh, added anyway uh, that was more or less all to tell. Thanks for watching. Pen over somewhat. Again, two transistor, absolute hum suppressor, and it really, really suppresses the hum completely. And I've talked about, say, the crucial value of this resistor, the crucial value of this smoothing capacitor 4700 microfarad but of course when you don't want to use this for audio purposes this uh, capacitor can be smaller say 1000 microfarad and like we know the bridge rectifier has the property of say uh, 1.4 times the AC out of the transformer so say you have here a secondary only an example of 10 volts AC out you connect it to a bridge rectifier sorry for the sloppy drawing this is a uh, AC here AC here here we have the positive here we have the negative of negative of the bridge rectifier you have the smoothing capacitor positive and negative 10 volt AC you have to stop so you surely will find here 14 14 volts days DC and I mean course you know when you know something about electronics that's the open voltage thanks for watching the schematic again and I've published it many many times but perhaps I have some new uh, viewers to my youtube channel and uh, say that's the idea of publishing this again